I'm Ty Davis with Hungry Planet Plant-Based Foods, culinary specialist here with Don Harper Nelson, two-time Olympic medalist here in the kitchen with us today, cooking up our Hungry Planet pork fire noodles. Thanks for joining us, Don. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Hungry Planet and the Chef Ty. So excited. Very excited as well. So today, Don, we're going to be cooking our pork fire noodles. I know you said that you like spicy things and things that are really kind of flavor forward. Mm -hmm. yes. So I'm very excited to show you kind of how we make this dish, yes. you know? I'm excited because I get to now bring this dish home to my husband who loves spicy foods and loves home planet. So I'm like, let's get in here and see like how I match up. Absolutely. How I make stuff at home. So we're going to start cooking our pork fire noodles using our Hungry Planet ground mm -hmm. pork. Um, it is one of the easiest dishes I think I've ever okay. probably kind of conceptualized. Okay. Just because it's always like one pan oh, okay. type nice. of, you know, like yes. recipe, which I love. Mm -hmm. It makes it extremely convenient for cleanup yeah, and it also makes it, you know, you got kids, you got a exactly. husband, you got family. So exactly. you like, I want to use one pan. Night, I just want to be like, and done. Which cleaning is up. Right. what we're going to do. So <laughs> perfect. We always start off with a little bit of oil inside of our pans. Even the way you put your oil on is different than me. Okay. That was so <laughs> professional. I'm like, uh, in the middle, and you roll it around and get it all over. <laughs> that just comes from just years of me doing it. And also, I'm all about, like, aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And then I try to make cooking as therapeutic as possible, okay. you know? Because if you're eating food, yes. one, that's a little bit of self-care mm -hmm. therapy. But at the same time, you don't want to be stressed out when you're in the kitchen that's cooking, true. you that's know? True. Because then you won't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it kind of takes the fun out of cooking. It takes kind of the um, whole appeal out of it. Yes. And I feel as though, you know, if you're a happy cooker, then your food's going to be happy. And I it's going to taste fantastic, you know? And what I love to do whenever um, we do our recipes is always get our pan on medium high heat. Okay. Because before if, you put this. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> Once again. Okay. Things you do, I don't do. Yes. Perfect. So that's like a chef trick mm -hmm. or like a kitchen hack. Mm -hmm. So hot pan inside of this guy right here with your uh, Hungry Planet plant-based pork tang. Okay. It makes it so that it gets a really good color on the outside. Mm -hmm. And then it also keeps it from sticking to your pan. And we're just going to keep stirring. And honestly, because this is a conventional swap to conventional meat, mm -hmm. you want to cook it the same way that you would a conventional meat. So good you good. want to get a nice, good browning on the outside because oh, that okay. develops flavor. Yeah. And you also want to just make sure it's cooked through 165 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then what I love to do is add a little sesame oil because this is also a flavor bomb component. Yep. It's also very, very healthy. And also sesame oil has no saturated fats, which I also love. Uh -huh. So it adds a lot of flavor without adding extraneous fats to it. So you've got some really great browning on here. You see how it's kind of browning up on mm -hmm. the edges? So this is where we start to add all of our delicious vegetables. And when it comes to any of these uh, plant-based uh, recipes and whatnot, using mm -hmm. Hungry Planet plant-based proteins, I tell people, you know, when it comes to the recipes, kind of follow our blueprint. But if there's something okay. else that you really love that, or yeah. your body really likes, if you want to add cauliflower, yeah. if you want to add yeah. broccoli, if you don't like snap peas and want to add green mm -hmm. beans, you do your thing, boo. Yep. Now we have our uh, snow peas in here. We also mm -hmm. have a little bit of purple cabbage. I'm all about colors because say, colors mean more nutrients, you know? <laughs> yeah. And as an athlete, you got to always and have that energy going. Plate, yes, and your yes. plate has to be colorful. And this is the most difficult part. And the rest of for our pork fire noodles, the reason we call them pork fire is because we have a cool thing in it called gochujang. And gochujang is a Korean red pepper place. Mm -hmm. So it has a little sweetness, a little spice, but not too much. And it acts as a really good like binder for all of those flavors to kind of marry and whatnot. Also keeps it a little different. So once our um, snap peas start to become really vibrant green like that, mm -hmm. that's when we add everything else for our sauce. And this is honestly almost done, Don. So even if you wanted to have, you know, like uh, your niece and your daughter in the kitchen, this will be something super easy they can help with. Yeah. So this is a little Ooh. bit of sambal. Uh -huh. So this is where our heat's going to come exactly. from. I see, the, I see the seeds. So sambal is very delicious. So we already have our snap peas in here. We have our purple cabbage. We have our Hungry Planet ground pork. We have our gochujang and our sambal. So I'm, you're gonna think this is funny. Let me see how you would stir it. Let me see how a chef. See, that's not how I did it. I was like playing and getting pieces. Are you confident in your skillet? And that's what it comes down to. It's just confidence. Love it. So these are our little scallions because we always have to have a little aromatics. But because this is so spicy, if you want to keep stirring yep. for us, I'm going to add our secret ingredient. So this is agave nectar. So this is where our sweetness is going to come from. Okay. And I love agave nectar because one, it's a natural sugar. Yep, I use agave as well. That's our sugar at home. Yeah, it's not refined, so you don't have to worry about all those refined sugars and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to stay away from granulated sugar as much as possible. Yes. Beautiful. And that looks fantastic. You're doing a great job, love. So now we're going to add our noodles. These are just a little bit of a lo mein noodles right okay. here. You can use chow mein noodles if you want. Mm -hmm. If you only have, honestly, spaghetti at home, yeah. you can use that. 
Um, and then also they have these cool things called rice noodles that work extremely well in this dish. We always finish it off with a little bit more accoutrement. So we're gonna add a little bit of our sesame seeds right on top of it. Because people always eat with their eyes too. Mm -hmm. So that's why I try to keep everything yes. as vibrant as possible. Yes, with our eyes, absolutely. Beautiful, we're gonna give that one more stir. And we got our pork fire noodles, Dawn. What? Beautiful, thanks so much for coming into the kitchen today, Dawn. Cheers. It's wonderful having you. So we have our Hungry Planet pork fire noodles with two-time Olympic medalist, Dawn Harper Nelson. Thank you Thanks so for much. joining us in the kitchen today. And thank you so much for having me with my full mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it was my pleasure. I'm Ty Davis, culinary specialist here at Hungry Planet Foods. Thanks for joining us today.